This is Nick Berkeley putting the moves on 20-year-old Merrick Herbis of the Kamloops Blazers in second round playoff action. A pretty nifty and gutsy move for a 15-year-old rookie just called up for midget. Younger guys always think, you know, get her in deep, just work hard. I mean, you got to try some things and hope for the best, I guess, and I think that's what can separate me from other guys, like trying those different things, and, and I think my speed helped me a lot through that. If I make a move and it doesn't work, I can always get back. I don't think he's come or he's gotten to a level where he can't try those moves yet because he has been successful. Certainly there are times where he's allowed to and there's other times when he shouldn't, um, but he seems to know the difference. It takes a quiet confidence to make those kinds of moves against veteran defensemen in this league. Some might call it a bit of swagger, but he says it's more like a trust in his abilities to pull it off. Confidence, good word to use. I wouldn't say cocky. You just you need that confidence in your game. I mean, just know that you can do it and you can make those moves is a big key. In game three of that series, he steals the puck off another 20-year-old, Tyler Hansen, and goes in for a scoring chance. He gets flattened by another big defender, Sam Grist, but he doesn't quit on the play and dusts himself off while the puck is corralled back to Merkley, and he makes a seeing-eye pass onto the stick of J.T. Barnett. The youngster appears to be blessed with skill, bravado, and determination. You know, his talent and, and everything else is one thing, but the, the one thing he has is a work ethic and a compete level that you need if you want to be a hockey player and I think he has those and that's what's going to ultimately you know allow him to become a player. Merkley played midget last year for the Calgary Buffaloes. The team had a rough max tournament but did make it to the south final in the midget playoffs before losing to Red Deer. Then he was called up to the Rockets when Kelowna ran into injury trouble in the postseason and he took advantage of the unexpected ice time. It was a big jump, uh, less time and space for sure. I think I adapted well and pretty quickly though. I didn't really think about what line I was on or anything of that. Just kind of played hard just every time I was on the ice. Merkley grew up idolizing Bobby Orr even though he was born 19 years after he retired with the Blackhawks. Now he's trying to model his game on a current hawk, Patrick Sharp, one of the league's clutch performers. But he might be a little more like Patrick Kane, a playmaker who can handle the puck at breakneck speed. I wouldn't say he's the fastest guy on the team or anything like that, but he can do things at a fast level with the puck, and, and that's not everybody can do that. A lot of guys have to slow it down. I got good speed, and I can set up guys all the time. I think I got to work on my shots. Merkley is listed at 5'10 and 176 pounds. Not big by any means, but don't forget he's just 16 and still has time to grow. The Calgary native was a first-round pick of the Rockets in the 2012 WHL Bantam Draft, ninth overall. He scored his first WHL goal Saturday, September 28th against Kamloops and potted two quick ones in the third against Everett on Wednesday. He can expect some spot duty on the power play, but this is, after all, a deep team, and he will have to earn his ice time. You know, there's not too many 16-year-olds, or, or maybe none, that can step in and be the number one guy on the power play or anything like that, but you have to ease them into that and allow them to understand, you know, oh, I gotta move the puck quicker, oh, I've gotta have my head up. You know, those little things that maybe they were able to get away with in, in midget hockey or whatever, and now they have to, it's just another step. You know, so far, I mean, again, it's very early in the season, but Nick has adapted well.